Eternal Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our Savior, O Holy Spirit, the power from above, we worship you, we adore you, and we glorify you in this Eucharistic bread. We acknowledge your living and active presence among us, especially at this time of these moments of adoration. And Lord, at the end of another day, as we have come into your presence, we have only one thing to say from our heart. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. O oh Lord, when we revisit every moment of this day, from the time we opened our eyes to this new day, and right now we are here at the end of this day, And we recollect and revisit every moment we've gone through in this day. We have nothing but say this. Thank you, Lord. For your protection. Thank you, Lord. For your providence. Thank you, Lord. For your anointing. 
thank you lord for your healing thank you lord for your consolation thank you lord for your strength thank you lord for infilling us with your hope thank you lord for your love and mercy thank you lord dear brothers and sisters in christ let our hearts thank our heavenly father at this time for all that he has added to our life this day maybe because of our human frailties and limitations we might find more moments of unhappiness and sorrow than the moments that we can cherish as blessing and joyful but still all my dear brothers and sisters we believe in the goodness of our lord as saint paul would say for those who love god and those who are called according to his purpose everything everything turns out to be good we believe in the goodness of our lord we acknowledge and proclaim that he will make everything good for us even when we walk through the valley of death as the psalmist prays in psalm 23 even though i walk through the darkest valley of death i fear no evil for your rod and your staff they comfort me even when we have gone through a lot of moments of our dismay and disappointment one thing we need to hold on to our heart especially this time of worship and adoration that the lord is good to his children the lord is good to his children he will never allow his children to perish thank you lord we worship you lord we adore you lord dear brothers and sisters in christ let us spend a few moments worshiping our lord adoring our lord with a whole heart mind and soul at this time recollecting all that has happened to us this day humanly we might think we might separate them into positive and negative or good or bad but in faith we believe he will turn everything to be good for us let us worship him let us adore him in silence from our heart at this time
Let us worship and adore the Lord with the psalmist, singing together Psalm 103. Father, thank you, O Holy Spirit. 
of power from above we worship you. Our eternal Father we worship you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We acknowledge that you are faithful to your promises. Lord, we believe in your goodness, O Lord. Thank you, Lord. Worship you, Lord. We adore you, Lord. We glorify you. Almighty God, in your presence, now we place all our prayers. We lift up unto you all those who have asked our prayers this day. For all whom we need to pray this day. O Lord from Divine Retreat Center Samasbi, we lift up all your children you have gathered this evening to worship and adore you at this time of adoration and benediction from different parts of the world. Lord, have mercy upon their prayers deep down in their heart. All the blessing that they need in their body, mind and soul. Lord, you know us better than we know ourselves. You know our needs and our dear needs that we stand in your presence. More than all those peripheral prayers, you know what we crave for in our heart. Lord, have mercy upon your children gathered in one faith to worship and adore you from different parts of the world today. From Divine Retreat Center, we also lift up all the prayer intentions we have received today. All those who visited us, all those who asked our prayers personally and through different media, all those who spent their time worshipping and adoring you and praying in the intercession chapel here. Lord, we pray, offering all the intentions of Divine Retreat Center, all the praise here, our volunteers, benefactors, well-wishers, intercessors, neighbors, civil and church authorities, Lord, have mercy. Dear brothers and sisters, we request you to say a prayer for the Inner Healing Retreat this weekend. Friday, Saturday and Sunday.
Let's also intercede for our brethren suffering throughout the world due to COVID-19. All the impacts borne by the people around the world. Lord, have mercy, we pray. Let us pour out our heart unto the Lord in silence. Now, brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves for the moments of benediction. And we would like to just let you know, during the Inner Healing Retreat, Friday, Saturday, we will not be having evening adoration at 9 p.m. That is this Friday, 13th, Saturday, 14th, evening we will not have online adoration at 9 p.m. but we will resume the adoration on Sunday evening 9 p.m. there will be Holy Mass in the morning all these days at 8 a.m. as usual now let us enter into the moments of benediction singing together, down in adoration, falling. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as a memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us 
and the peace of the kingdom, where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray the divine praises together. Blessed be God. Blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary, most holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints. Amen. Amen.